Someone had asked how to install Redshift via JSON files, otherwise known as packages inside Houdini. So today I figured we would be going over how we can go about doing that. So it is a little bit easier to keep the plugin updated with a JSON file rather than the EMV. You can just, especially when then like Houdini upgrades, you can just copy the file over to the packages folder and you should be all set up and ready to go if you set it up correctly. So first off, we need to figure out what we need to put into our JSON file. So if I open up this Houdini env file, which is the old way to do it, you see we have a few lines here. So we have our path, we have this Houdini path that shows where our, pl our uh, Redshift plugin is installed, and then this last Pixar plugin path is for Solaris. And this line right here, the Houdini DSO, we don't actually fully need inside of JSON. So we'll just go ahead and ignore that for the purpose of this video. Now, I don't wanna go into trying to explain how the JSON structure works because I don't fully understand it. I don't feel comfortable explaining it, but uh, we'll show you the file that I have set up here. And you can just copy this. I'm also gonna provide this inside uh, the description. If you want to learn more about JSON files and packages, uh, you could definitely check out the Houdini packages documentation. It's super useful there. But basically, we're going to access the environment and then we're going to append this path here, which is the Redshift binaries. And then for the Pixar uh, plugin path, so the Solaris version of Redshift, we need to append this, um, this line as well. So the combination of these two will get us set up and then we also need to set up the path here. And you can hard code in your Houdini version by putting in what we had here in our environment. But if you set up the Houdini version dollar sign inside those curly brackets, you can see that it will just load up perfectly with uh, whatever version you have installed. So let's just bring up Houdini 19 and once it loads up, we'll take a look and we'll see that we actually have Redshift working inside Houdini. The, the last thing I guess that I forgot to mention, you do need to save this JSON file to the packages folder inside of your Houdini 19 install. So if I bring this over, you can see them in the Houdini install folder, just go to packages and then just paste that file right into here. And like I said, whenever Houdini updates, you can just uh, copy this file into whatever packages folder for the uh, next version of Houdini that you have. So now if I look at Redshift here, you can see we have Redshift working. If I just drop in a grid and let's just do a sphere. And if I merge these two together, you can see once I load up Redshift that we will have it working. So let's bring up our render view. And you can see once it loads up here, see we have our Redshift working inside of Houdini. And then if we want to pop over to the Solaris context, we can just do the same thing with a SOP create. Just real quick here. Grid a sphere. If I can type with a merge, set our display flag, and then if I load up our Redshift, you can see that we have Redshift working inside Solaris as well. And everything works uh, perfectly, so you can throw on materials and everything like that, and it will all work just fine. And you are all set with Redshift inside Houdini. So super quick, like I said, I will be providing this, not the EMV, but this JSON uh, wordage, verbiage, whatever, inside of the description. So you can copy it from the description or you can just type it all out yourself. Works uh, perfectly for Houdini. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you wanna check out some other videos on my channel, I have a bunch on Houdini as well as some on Redshift, uh, some on Octane, Clarice, and a little bit on Cinema 4D as well. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you guys check that out. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.